For years, I've had people requesting for me to review this particular fragrance. I don't know why, but everybody's like, it's a phenomenal cheapie. You need to get your hands on it. You need to test it out, etc., etc. So I finally got the fragrance in hand. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto this shit because I'm erect to let you know what I feel. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C3 to the B to the A. Now, this fragrance is by the house of Swiss Arabian, and this would be maybe my first one from Swiss Arabian. I don't even remember. But this one is none other than Shag Haf Oud. You clean this shit. It's all dirty. Does that look better? There you go, I had to clean it with the nipple. Well over two years, when this shit had a nice hype bubble, I had a ton of people in my DMs, yo Kuba, you gotta try this shit, yo, it's a phenomenal cheapie with beast mode performance, it's fucking amazing, etc, etc. So I finally pulled the trigger, I got it for an inexpensive price, so I said, why not? It was already cheap, but if I can get a dollar to two dollars off extra, it's a win for me. So, I've been wearing this a couple of times, and I must say that it does perform very well on my skin. This is not appropriate for the hot weather at at all but it's borderline beast mode off of my skin so it's definitely a powerhouse as everybody has been saying in the past truth be told this would be my first interpretation and my first time smelling this fragrance and immediately once i smelled this fragrance it reminded me of franco olivier's oud vanille these smell really close and this one is still cheaper than this one now this one does perform better than this one, but they have a lot of the same similarities in my personal opinion. This one might be slightly more synthetic than this one. This one is synthetic in itself. This one definitely wins on the overall performance, but they're just really similar. <coughs> <coughs> Swallow the whole thing, pause. <coughs> Ooh, no gag reflex. Yo, listen. Woo. Okay, going back to it's strong. Definitely in the opening, it's more of a creamy kind of nutty floral is what I'm getting from the opening of this fragrance. Definitely there's oud present. <coughs> Shit, oud's in my lungs right now like Corona. But there's definitely oud present, but it's like a nutty, a strong like chemical punch opening that is like, whew, as you can see, a little difficult on the lungs, but it's a nice fragrance. It's very nice. It's just nutty, sweet. I feel that there's like subtle hints of like caramel on the bottom. Just give it kind of like a sweet molassesy kind of vibe, a little bit sticky and a little bit nutty. It's like a nice candy with like ooded vibes. For some reason, and this is weird because I've never had one, but I don't know why I'm picturing some sort of like Middle Eastern candy that would come with a nice little wrapper on the bottom in a tin can. Not the tin can that the Spanish old ladies used to put needle and thread in, like a pretty presentation tin can with like a nice little nutty, sweet, caramelly, kind of baklava-ish type shit. That's what I'm getting in my head. I know it's kind of weird, but that's what I'm getting. Performance on my skin was well over nine hours. So again, it's almost borderline beast mode. It does very well. The opening, obviously you can tell by the lack of air that I have in my lungs. Even at a good distance when spraying this shit and be sure to be in an open area. Do not be in a confined space. Although nowadays, you know, you gotta be in a confined space, which is your house. But it's just very close to this shit. For me, it's very close. If you just add the nuttiness factor to this one, it's, it's damn near there. And this is like a dollar at this point. You can get this shit for dirt cheap. That one is still in the 40-ish, 30-ish kind of realm. I can definitely see what the hype was about this fragrance. It is very solid, cold weather only. I repeat, cold weather only. You will kill someone in the summertime wearing this shit. Not that you're going anywhere, quarantine style, but I'm just giving you my perspective. I think it is a very nice fragrance, so I'm gonna give it a nice half a ball spray. Nah, let's do a hypothetical ball spray because as strong as this shit is, if I spray my balls right now and I'm home, my wife is gonna jump snap, mule kick me right in my ovaries and slap me in my uvula so maybe i'll just it's a half a ball spray take my word for it i love y'all motherfuckers from the heart any other swiss arabian ones that are absolute hits and beast mode fragrances that i need to get let me know i'll see y'all bitches next time you know who it is biggest in the game smooches Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey,
all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you.